Shilanu. It's a Hebrew word that means ours. It's also the name of a new channel on the Hut Cable Network here in Israel. The channel is owned by God TV and broadcasts messages by Messianic Jews, Jews who believe Jesus, or Yeshua in Hebrew, is the Jewish Messiah. But a fundraising video by God TV claiming it would beam the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ into every Israeli home in Hebrew raised objections by some that it would violate two Israeli laws, proselytizing by using material means as an incentive to convert someone, and proselytizing to minors without both parents' consent. Israel's Minister of Communication threatened to take Shilano off the air if it was a, quote, missionizing channel. And Jerusalem's deputy mayor criticized the channel and tweeted, we're not trying to convert Jews, we just want them to accept Jesus as the Messiah, reminds me of when people say, we don't hate Jews, we just don't believe they should have the right to self-determination like everyone else. The Hot Cable Network will soon respond to the Minister of Communications concerns. While the fate of the channel is being decided, we talk to those on opposite sides of this controversy. First, with Jewish leader Israel Medad, who works with Christian friends of Israeli communities, and Ron Cantor, a local Messianic Jew, and God TV's representative here in Israel. Israel, first of all, thanks so much for joining us on uh, Jerusalem Dateline. You know, the issue of Shilano has been very controversial here in Israel. Tell us what your views are on that. Well, I want to make it clear that I think that each and every religion should have its freedom of worship, and there's no interference in internal affairs of any church or any congregation or any synagogue. However, uh, the message that we got very strongly from God uh, TV was that this broadcasting uh, license that they recently gained was specifically to missionize, to share Jesus with the Jews of Israel. And that is a very touchy question and uh, partially illegal. However, the problem is that the broadcasting, there's no restrictions on it. It can go to underage, it can go all over the place. And I think that a lot of people who appreciate what we call Christian Zionism and love of Israel would be harmed by this uh, interference in the makeup of the relationship between us and those Christians who love Israel. They would say, Israel uh, from Shilano, that this is a matter of free speech. They're sharing their own testimonies, uh, their own uh, way of life. How would you respond to that? Well, they could do that in many ways. Broadcasting is a different situation altogether. And if it was, uh, and since it is cable television, if it is, goes directly into those homes which are being serviced by the congregation, who believe that they want to believe uh, in Jesus, that is all right. But if it is a, a instrument that is could be used and probably will be used in order to uh, convert Jews, this is an historical issue that goes beyond Israel. It goes back centuries. And I don't think that this should be the way Christians and Jews in Israel will be developing a future relationship. Give us your final views on, on ho this whole matter. I welcome all Christian Zionist support for Israel. I think it's part of the new relationship that is being built on the basis of Israel as the Jewish state and Jews as a nation. And I think that this uh, interference, this initiative was not well thought out, and I think it can be corrected. Well, Ron, first of all, thanks for joining us on uh, Jerusalem Dateline. Uh, tell us what Shilano is and where is its content coming from? Shilano is a brand new TV station in Israel on the Hot Cable Network. Uh, about a year ago, we were approached by Hot. They asked if we wanted to come back on the air. And we said, well, we'll consider it if we can do it in Hebrew. We want to share what we believe with Israel in Hebrew. And they said, no problem. I was stunned. I was shocked to ask a few more times. Uh, we went through a process that ended about two weeks ago with the birthing of Shilano TV. It's a platform for local Messianic Jews, for Christian Arabs, and a few international 
Christian uh, media outlets to be able to share with believers here in Israel, as well as the whole country, who we are as believers in Yeshua. The content is, it's roughly 70% in Hebrew, 70% uh, from uh, local Israelis, most of them what we call Sabari, meaning a native-born Israeli. This isn't about uh, God TV in England or in America. God TV underwrote this program, this channel, but they then gave it as a gift to the local Messianic community, and they said, you're going to have to come up with the programming. And so we have worship music, we have teaching, we have people sharing their stories of how they found Yeshua. And uh, it's quite exciting. Well, uh, Ron, uh, you've been accused of missionizing, proselytizing. What do you say to those people uh, quickly? Uh, you know, their objections. How do you address their objections to Shalano? First of all, I am Jewish. Uh, I am an Israeli. I pay taxes here. Uh, my wife and my daughters, they were in the IDF and the armies. It, it's kind of hard to be a missionary in your home country. I, as a Jewish believer in Yeshua and simply sharing what I believe with my fellow Israelis. And that's what Shilano is. It is mostly, as I said, Israelis. Now, again, these young people who are sharing their music or sharing their testimonies or stories, they're willing to go to the army to, to fight for Israel and maybe even die for Israel. How can we silence their voices? Don't they have freedom of speech? This is not Iran. This is not Saudi Arabia. This is Israel. We're the only democracy in the Middle East, and we value freedom of speech. And let me be clear, Chris, the opposition is a vocal minority. The vast majority of Israelis are not threatened by Shilano. So, Ron, is it true that the Shilano is there to convert Jews? No, absolutely not. If you read the New Testament, all of the followers of Jesus were Jewish, literally all of them. It was years later before Gentiles began to believe in Jesus. But when these Jews began to believe in Jesus, none of them converted. They didn't even call themselves Christians. In fact, the first question they asked Yeshua after he rose from the dead was, are you now going to restore the kingdom to Israel? When a Jewish person believes in Yeshua, they are not leaving Judaism for Christianity. They're simply finding their Messiah. <laughs> 